This is not good. Please, dear God, please keep these people safe. More stunning video tonight of that massive tornado in Oklahoma. This was just this was taken by a group just outside of a high school near the community of Moore. Some of these images bringing back memories for people here in Southwest Florida. And I've been talking to a survivor of Hurricane Charlie, which hit Punta Gorda in 2004. And when you see some of these images in Oklahoma City, what do you think? It reminds me of what I've been through. I'm sure what they've been through is a lot worse. Punta Gorda resident Jen McGuire tells me she was just a tween when Charlie hit her hometown. It's just really strange see, going through town and seeing everything destroyed. As rough as Charlie was on Punta Gorda, it wasn't nearly as deadly or destructive as this tornado in Oklahoma. But Charlie, like all severe storms, did mean the threat of tornadoes. My dad, grandma, and my aunt made sure that my three cousins and I were under, like, in the bathtub under a mattress the whole time with our two dogs. When severe weather hits, whether it's Oklahoma or Southwest Florida, many of us tend to remember the dramatic before or aftermath images. But for survivors like Jen, it's the mental images of the storm as it hit that linger. Like there was a point where we believe the tornado came very close to us, maybe even hit us because we heard like as the roof was being torn apart, and my, one of my cousins was screaming, saying, we're going to die, we're going to die. There goes grandma's room, we're going to die. I feel like I grew up real quick in that moment. She yeah. feels for the children in Oklahoma who will grow up with much more traumatic memories and has this advice for survivors returning to their neighborhoods. Just appreciate what you have. I mean, there's a chance you can lose everything, and if you do, it, as long as you still have the ones you love. That's kind of, that's what my family was happy about. We were just happy we all had each other. Like a lot of Charlotte County students, Jen had to transfer middle schools and go to high school mostly in portable classrooms because of storm damage to schools there. Her aunt, who lost her house to Charlie, still lives in a temporary FEMA home nine years later.